When I show that there is a hadith which says, فَلَمَّا تُوَفِّيَتْ When she died, دَفَنَهَا زَوْجُهَا عَلِيٌّ لَيْلًا Her husband Ali buried her in the night. وَلَمْ يُؤْذِنْ And he did not allow بِهَا أَبَا بَكْرٍ وَصَلَّ عَلَيْهَا And he did not permit Abu Bakr to be involved in that particular janazah, in that particular funeral. When this is mentioned within Sahih al-Bukhari, you cannot therefore come and tell me as a Shi'i that my perception of what took place is completely a fairy tale. You could say to me, for example, that I do not believe what you believe. For example, that there was a door and it was smashed on the daughter of the Holy Prophet. Peace be upon him and his family. But you cannot come to me and say that there wasn't a time where Fatima was angry with the first Khalifa and did not want to have anything to do with him until she died. When I therefore see that, not just in my literature, because sometimes a person says, how can we trust our sources that we use? Our reply is that if I see the same story being discussed in other schools in Islam, then there must be some sort of overlap. If it's only in my books, then someone has the right to say, that you people have only made this up to suit your worldview, to suit your framework. But when I see other schools in Islam mention that there was a threat to burn a house, when I see other schools in Islam mention that Fedak was confiscated, when I see other schools in Islam mention that Imam Ali السلام, did not permit the first Khalifa to be at the funeral of Fatima, you cannot then come back to me and say, that you Shia made up an absolute fairy tale. 